by me. She speaks. Oh, speak again, bright angel, for thou art as glorious to this night being o'er my head, as is a winged messenger of heaven unto the white upturned wandering eyes of mortals that fall back to gaze on him when he bestrides the lazy puffing clouds and sails upon the bosom of the air. O oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or if thou wilt not, be but sworn, my love, and I'll no longer be a capulet. Shall I hear more, or shall I speak at this? Is but thy name, that is enemy. Thou art thyself, though not a Montague. What's Montague? It is nor hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, or be some other name belonging to a man. What's in a name? That which we call a rose, by any other word would smell as sweet. So Romeo would, were he not Romeo called, retain the dear perfection which he owes without that title. Romeo, doff thy name, and for thy name, which is no part of thee, take all myself. I take thee at thy word. Call me but love, and I'll be new baptized. Henceforth I never will be Romeo. What man art thou that thus be screened in night, so stumblest on my counsel? By a name, I know not how to tell thee who I am. My name, dear saint, is hateful to myself, because it is an enemy to thee. Had I it written, I would tear the word. My ears have yet not drunk a hundred words of that tongue's uttering, yet I know the sound. Art thou not Romeo and the Montague? Neither, fair maid, if either thee dislike. How camest thou hither? Tell me, and wherefore? The orchard walls are high and hard to climb, and the place death. Considering who thou art, if any of my kinsmen find thee here. With love's light wings did I o'erperch these walls. For stony limits cannot hold love out, and what love can do, that dares love attempt. Therefore thy kinsmen are no stop to me. If they do see, they will murder thee. Alack, there lies more peril in thine eye than twenty of their swords. Look thou but sweet, and I am proof against their enmity. I would not for the world they saw thee here. I have night's cloak to hide me from their eyes, and but thou love me, let them find me here. My life were better ended by their hate than death prorogued wanting of thy love. By whose direction found'st thou up this place? By love, who first did prompt me to inquire. He lent me counsel, and I lent him eyes. I am no pilot. Yet wert thou as far as that vast shore washed with the farthest sea? I should adventure for such merchandise. Thou knowest the mast of night is on my face. Else would a maiden blush be paint my cheek, for that which thou hast heard me speak tonight. Fain would I dwell on form, fain, fain deny what I have spoke. But farewell, compliment, dost thou love me? I know thou wilt say, I, and I will take thy word. Yet. If thou swearest, thou mightst be false. At lovers' perjuries they say Job laughs. O oh, gentle Romeo, if thou dost love, pronounce it faithfully. Or if thou thinkest I am too quickly won, I'll frown and be perverse, and say Dine, so thou wilt woo. But else not for the world. In truth, fair Montague, I am too fond, and therefore you might think my behavior light. But trust me, gentlemen, I'll prove more true than those that have more coying to be strange. I should have been more strange. I must confess, but that thou overheard, ere I was aware, my true love passion. Therefore, pardon me, and not impute this yielding to light love, which the dark night had so discovered. Lady, by yonder blessed moon I vow, that tips with silver all these fruit tree tops. Oh, swear not by the moon, the inconstant moon, the monthly changes in her circled orb, lest that thy love prove likewise variable. What shall I swear by? Do not swear at all, or if thou wilt. 
swear by the gracious self, which is the god of my idolatry, and I'll believe thee. My heart's dear love. Well, do not swear. Although I join thee, I have no joy of this contract tonight. It is too rash, too unadvised, too sudden, to like the lightning, which doth cease to be ere one can say. It lightens. Sweet, good night. This bud of love by summer's ripening breath may prove Bote's flower when next we meet. Good night, good night. A sweet repose and rest to come to thy heart as that within my breast. Oh, wilt thou leave me so unsatisfied? What satisfaction canst thou have tonight? The exchange of thy love's faithful vow for mine. I give thee mine before thou didst request it, and yet I would it were to give again. Wouldst thou withdraw it? For what purpose, love? <laughs> but to be frank, I give it thee again, and yet I wish for the thing I have. My bounty is as boundless as the sea. My love is deep. The more I give to thee, the more I have, for both are infinite. I hear some noise within. Dear love, adieu. Madam! Anon, good nurse. Sweet Montague, be true. Stay but a little. I will come again.